Hello, my name is Elisa and I live and work in Long Island, New York. Um, I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy during this unfortunate health outbreak. I work for Northwell Health, which is a hospital system through the state of New York. Um, I work as a lab support associate in Northwell's core laboratory. When this sudden pandemic occurred, we were notified that we would start doing a lot of the testing for COVID-19. All testing goes straight to the molecular department, which I'm currently not involved in. Um, there have been over thousands of specimens received, and I have heard from sources that a lot have been tested as positive. Since we are the core lab for the hospital system, we have had a lot of visits from news reporters and even the CDC. I feel better sweet about working um, during um, a time like this due to the fact that every day I am at risk for being exposed to the virus, but wearing proper PPE such as um, gloves and face masks and um, lab coats um, is definitely mandatory at this time, which gives me a little comfort that I am protected head to toe. Um, at the end of the day, I am a little worried and concerned about walking in my house and potentially exposing my parents because at the end of the day, let's be realistic, no one really knows if one has been exposed to the virus or not, which really puts things into a deeper perspective as to how serious this virus really is. I will say though, working in the healthcare field gives me a sense of fulfillment as I am part of a team that strives to have better quality of care and that is currently focusing on saving lives and finding a vaccination for this virus. Um, making sure to stay positive and live one day at a time is very important as right now this is unfortunately our reality. Um, reading, walking outside when the, when the weather has been nice, listening to podcasts, catching up on movies, um, and even spending more time with my family than usual are just some things that I have been doing to keep me busy during this time. I almost like to look at this outbreak like a silver lining as this is my opinion as the world needed some change, not only on environmental resets and having a broken healthcare system, but more so rather that people lost their sense of human interaction and in ways that this pandemic will help reconnect with oneself and one another again, because a lot of people have lost that factor for a long time. So I feel like there could be a lot of beneficial factors that come out of this and that things will be different for the better because I think a lot of the world started to lack these skills for some time. Um, this pandemic has definitely put a toll on my personal life, I will say, as it has distanced my boyfriend and I from seeing each other along with relationships I have with my friends. Um, I have been trying to make phone calls and, and FaceTime, um, a priority because I feel more connected through these means of communications with my relationships as opposed to just texting. Um, just wanted to thank you, Vin, for having me on. Hey, Vin, it's Dan Trent here in Denver, Colorado. Thanks for letting me be a part of this, uh, nationwide collab for interviewing people to make a difference um you know personally it's been pretty tough you know uh just trying to you know wrap my head around everything that's going on and you know some things that i'm trying to do to keep a level head is making sure that i exercise every day uh, i've been going to the park and listening to more audiobooks to try and you know clear my mind and making sure that i'm doing the appropriate things to, to stay level headed. So, you know, I've been working on meditation techniques, uh, thinking more about mindfulness and, you know, how I'm grateful for everything that I have in my life. And then, yeah, I know you'd ask me to, from a professional standpoint on how everything's going. Uh, it's been pretty tough, you know, um, the business that I'm in computer software, uh, you know, businesses come to a halt. So really everything that I'm doing now is just reaching out to my prospects and customers and making sure that they're okay and that, you know, we're here for them whenever they need us. 
and just hoping for the best, you know, but trying to stay positive, still grinding, uh, reaching out to, to new prospects via LinkedIn, email, cold calls. So just trying to keep a positive attitude. Hey, my name is Dr. Lulu, AKA The Mom Attrition. Just wanted to take a moment to say, coronavirus, COVID-19 has affected me and my family in a very positive way. We have learned to stay together, to learn to tolerate each other, to learn to see each other, learn to be with each other on a different level. We are bonding away, we are, communicating in levels that we never thought we could and we would and so it's all about positive baby we are staying positive we're staying home we're staying loving we're choosing to think positive we're meditating we're being mindful we're being kind we're choosing our words it's awesome it's been awesome awesome and for my practice i've been doing telemedicine so i actually love it it has been no problem whatsoever all I have to say to you guys is please stay positive, stay positive, stay positive. We'll come out on the other side stronger. Hey guys, my name is Andrew Lipoff and I'm the founder and CEO of Get Gas Boston up in Boston, Massachusetts. I wanted to quickly hop on here to talk about the coronavirus and how it's been affecting me personally and how it's been affecting uh, my business as well. To start off with me personally, um, both my brother and sister-in-law are both doctors in upstate New York, um, and they're really on the front lines of this and seeing it every day. Um, so I just want to say thank you to all the medical personnel on the front lines that are really doing the amazing heroic jobs um, of saving lives, even though this is just a terrible time. And as for my business, um, you know, we have worked closely with uh, the state of Massachusetts, um, and when uh, businesses were told to close, except for essential businesses, um, that's where Get Gas Boston um, was still allowed to operate um, due to that we are a mobile fueler um, and essentials um, for my clients. In addition, uh, coming soon, we are also going to be fueling a couple of um, residents as well, so really excited for that. We're going to open up the app uh, to a couple residents in the um, Massachusetts area. Um, so that's more to come. I'm really excited for that because we're going to help with the social distancing and people really need to stop touching the gas handles uh, at gas stations. They're really dirty. Um, even right now, people are trying to clean them as much as possible. Uh, over at Get Gas Boston, we are doing full cleaning on our trucks, on the handles uh, to to uh, dispute the um, gasoline um, and we're really taking safety and cleanliness um, to the fullest. Thank you and I hope everybody's staying safe, washing your hands uh, and just staying home and doing what they need to do. Um, all this will pass hopefully soon and uh, things will go back to normal. Have a good one. Thanks.